Danger! A menacing supernova is on its way! Betelgeuse is about to blow itself up any second now. Yes, you heard that right. NASA itself warns the world that the red supergiant star Betelgeuse might be dying and might explode any time. In fact, the Hubble telescope observed one piece of evidence that a supernova might be imminent. What could this mean for our planet? Will we get caught in its explosion? And what is this evidence the Hubble telescope caught? We are here to lay down the facts to answer all your questions. In today's video, we will explain why we should be worried about Betelgeuse's inevitable destruction. The Gargantuan Fireball Betelgeuse Before we panic about any upcoming danger, we need to know more about this huge star, Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is a lot bigger than our own sun. In fact, it is 764 times larger in radius. It is also one of the largest and brightest stars visible to the naked eye. You can see Betelgeuse in the constellation of Orion, about 643 light years away from Earth. Betelgeuse was discovered in 1836 by astronomer John Herschel, and he observed that it was in the final stages of its stellar life. It is classified as a red supergiant star, an aging star about eight times the mass of the Sun that has fully consumed its core supply of hydrogen. Red supergiants are known as the largest stars in the entire universe. Well, the intriguing part is that Betelgeuse is relatively young. At only 10 million years old, Betelgeuse is already perishing. Compare this to the Sun, which is 4.6 billion years old, and it is not expected to run out of fuel soon. Now, you might ask, why is it dying so quickly compared to our Sun? Betelgeuse is 1,400 times larger than the Sun. Well, for stars, the larger the star is, the higher the amount of hydrogen it consumes within its core. And when it consumed all of its hydrogen, it will die slowly until it explodes and results into what is called a supernova. Two centuries ago, scientists already knew that Betelgeuse was in its final stages. Just recently, Betelgeuse has been behaving aggressively, and the Hubble telescope caught its unprecedented actions. What did the Hubble see that left scientists stunned? The Hubble Space Telescope has been one of the greatest achievements of our space industry, as it has helped unravel various mysteries in our universe. It has numerous breakthroughs under its name, such as pinning down the true age of the universe, discovering Pluto's two moons, and help determine the rate at which the universe is expanding. Decades after its monumental launch in 1990, the Hubble telescope is still giving astronomers a mesmerizing view of the baffling universe. And recently, Hubble unveiled something that was never seen before. Even the greatest minds in astronomy were left awestruck. In August 2022, scientists revealed that in 2019, something was happening in the upper right shoulder of the constellation of Orion. The bright, glittering, titanic star Betelgeuse was dimmer than ever before. It mysteriously became darker. Astronomers were puzzled. Why did this humongous star suddenly lose its brightness? Scientists hastily analyzed data from other observatories and from the most powerful tool we had back then, the Hubble telescope. The data they had gathered shook them. It appeared that this gargantuan star experienced an enormous surface mass ejection. It exploded, causing it to lose a substantial part of its visible surface. Mass ejections from stars like this are not new. In fact, the Sun is constantly ejecting parts of its outer atmosphere, which is also known as the corona. But the surface mass ejection Betelgeuse experienced released more than a mind-boggling 400 billion times as much mass as a typical coronal ejection from the Sun. Andrea Dupree, an astrophysicist from Cambridge, Massachusetts, said that they have never seen such a huge mass ejection from the surface of a star. A plume more than 100 million miles, Dupree also added that we are seeing the process where this star is changing in real time. This indicates that Betelgeuse is on its last straw. It's going to die soon. When exactly will this happen? How is life on Earth going to be affected? Does the Betelgeuse supernova pose a threat to humanity? With the recent hostile behavior of Betelgeuse, many are wondering, are we going to see a supernova in our lifetime? Will it affect life here on Earth? Astronomers have been continuously observing Betelgeuse for 200 years. They have measured its rhythm and found that the star's pulse, which is essentially a dimming and brightening cycle that restarts every 400 days, 
has ceased. This shows how impactful the explosion is for this dying star. Astronomers are saying that Betelgeuse continues doing very unusual things, and its interior appears to be sort of bouncing. With all these things happening, is Betelgeuse going to explode really soon? Well, if we are talking relative to the star's ages, then yes, Betelgeuse is going to die soon. But how soon? It can explode today or even tomorrow. What we are pretty sure of is that it will explode latest within the next 100,000 years. Even so, every day there is a chance that our astronomers will announce that this star already went supernova. With this star unimaginably big, how will it affect our solar system? With the possibility of a supernova happening in our lifetime, a lot of eyes are continuously focused on Betelgeuse. Some people are also worried that it may destroy life here on Earth. But scientists assure us that the star is too far from Earth to cause any casualties. Life on Earth will be unharmed, but that doesn't mean it will go unnoticed. If the star explodes today, it will be a treat for stargazing enthusiasts out there. For more than three months, the star will shine as bright as the half moon. It will only be nine times fainter than the full moon. You will be able to see it during the day too, even if it's 643 light years away, it'll still put on a spectacular show in our sky. We're lucky that this beautiful star is far enough from Earth to avoid any irreparable damage, but we also want to have some kind of way to know when the star will go supernova, right? This is how scientists can alert us if Betelgeuse is about to blow up. With Betelgeuse on the verge of dying, scientists have become uneasy that we don't have any way to detect when it is about to blow up. It is just too vague to say that Betelgeuse is about to explode sometime between today and in the next 100,000 years, right? We need some kind of detector that'll let us know before the event happens so that we can prepare. Well, a team of researchers in Japan might have the answer we need as they released a paper on how to predict when exactly the Betelgeuse supernova will come. In a recent study submitted to High Energy Astrophysical Phenomena, an archive by Cornell University compiling research about astrophysics, it is revealed that just before a star explodes, it discharges some kind of energy which can be captured through supernova precursors. Now, what are these supernova precursors we are talking about? Astrophysicist in University of Tokyo and the lead author of this study, Daichi Tsuna, said that their research will deepen our understanding of stellar evolution and will allow us to observe supernova precursors such as light, gravitational waves, and neutrinos. You might be familiar with light and gravitational waves, but what are neutrinos? Neutrinos are neutral subatomic particles with a mass close to 0.5 integral spin. A neutrino rarely reacts and interacts with normal matter, meaning that it can even go through matter. Tsuna said that if Betelgeuse is about to blow, it will release neutrinos days before the supernova. The good news is that we have neutrino detectors scattered all across the globe. With this, we will be warned if a supernova is emerging. For now, all we can do is wait and keep a close eye on that gargantuan fireball that is about to destruct.